Well, I think I just squished it a bit. This is a sweet potato bread that I made this morning. What's thicker than this? I believe I just sat on it. But uh, yeah, came out pretty good. I figured you, know, you make sweet sweet potato pies like pumpkin pie, I'll make the pumpkin bread. But I uh, made the sweet potato bread, nuts, cranberries, cinnamon, allspice, brown sugar, flour, salt, Bacon powder, bacon soda, um, two eggs, um, olive oil. Came out real good. So, <coughs> I came here to actually get this fuel bottle because I think I'm going to use the alcohol stove when I call my winter night there. But uh, just the Spargo fuel bottle is pretty good. So, also had to. Uh, you stock on some various teas here, little twinnings, and then some some other British teas and stuff here. Put them in my little container here. Little Harney tea tin here. Been raining for about a day and a half, pretty steady. Got got some leaks over there. Have to check that out with some of the old canvas there. Over here is pretty good. Over here is all good. Over here is good, but right near the edge down there. Uh, let's see. Facing opposite direction, but uh, toward the back of the tent there, where I worked on it before. Uh, a lot of it's good, but and then there's some old canvas down there too. I have to. Straight out also, or, or waterproof. I have ideas on that. Let's see how this is going. Yeah, I got a good bloom going now. Yep. What I did to light this, this is uh, fat wood, and I used my lighter. And what I did is I dipped it into the uh, denatured alcohol. And then lit it, and it lights right up, and then it lights quick. Old outsider tank uh, trick. Seeing him do it. I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. It's a hell of a lot easier. But uh, yeah, just dip it in and light it up. Boom, you're good. So this cooks here. One of my probably the second one I made. The orientation on the grain and everything's not the best. But never leaked or anything like that. But it's hard to get a. a big capacity out of it and I did this is cedar and uh, so I did that and I got some new beeswax stuff on here so we're going to try it out and it uh, looks pretty good but uh, I have my tea in there and then this is just an old uh, real billy pot eating up the old top on there and uh These tins here, um, either the same size or, or a little bigger than um, one of my small Luxato stoves. So I'm gonna modify it in many different ways and make a stove out of it. And uh, I did it to one before, but I have a bunch. So I'm gonna work on that. And uh, this way I got a, a nice stove and I may uh, keep the cap on it, somewhat intact. And uh, Anyways, or it may 
that wood gas stove down there. Or I may make the top like that to uh, go pull different holes in there to defuse the heat. Hey, hey. Looks like my dog Maggie. Come on in, Mag. Show yourself here. Come on. Come on, yeah. She's a good pop. She's my pop. I love the pop. Yeah. Hey, get away from there now. Do you love me or just want food? She's a good girl. Yeah, she's a good girl. The dogs do come in here, you know. She comes in here. So, yeah. So, that's what we're doing here. Did I plan on doing this? No, not at all. Uh, I plan on getting that Fargo bottle because I want to do a modern type haversack for my little winter camp out. So I'll be able, like late Friday morning. I can pick up some punch keys and uh, for the event and uh, probably eat something out there, a little tea, a little lunch or something. And then in the afternoon, everybody starts coming and we pick up all kinds of food there, man. So it's uh, really good. So I just came here to get that and I figured, well, I might as well sit here and uh, have a cup of tea. And uh, that would be good. And I'll uh, have my sweet potato bread. I, I had a piece this morning, so I know it's good. And it came out pretty good, you know. Um, and I wrote down the recipe, some a little bit here and there. I just going off memory off the, uh, I looked on YouTube, I looked it up. And uh, looks good. Must be getting some steam somewhere. Seen some smoke. But, uh, yeah, it's Quinn the SMO. Uh, feel right. I'll get back to you when the tea's done and we'll have a little something there. But this is what I'm doing here. And, uh, and I come in after heavy rain and kind of look and see where I got to tweak this up a little bit. But overall, the, the bed is good. The section here is pretty good. All the stove is good. No leaks in the stove or anything like that. So I'm pretty happy with that. But I do have to tweak it a little bit down there in the ends. So I'll get back to you. Got a set on part of it, but uh, it's gonna be good, man. Mm. Good stuff. Put some walnuts and cranberries in here too, man. Mm. Not bad. Open this up a little bit. Seems to be holding more. Still boiling away here, but that's all right. Ooh. I'll take it off. Or else I'll 
boiling away on me. Flame going there. Mm. Not bad. Dog here, gotta watch him and snap my. What's up, Meg? Come on. Hey, Meg. 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 There you go. I encourage the dogs to come in here when the weather's bad, you know. They can just slip in here. Ooh, it felt pretty good, man. And get away with this, uh, let's see. Yeah. Cool. day out here it's about 40 degrees which is not cold but it's damp and nasty just stopped raining but uh you can see it can see the, the balloon is a little better on there now yeah no you're not getting anything back hmm. let me spill a whole bunch of stuff here let it cool off a little bit but, uh, yeah, so I'm going to work on my, uh, tweak my haversack for when I go out and put things on the sled. <clears throat> I have my German backpack, and then I'm going to have, i probably just leave the sleeping bag in a bag along with the uh, pad. And uh, I added a, another sleeping bag liner in there, too, for that pad. And uh, I'll have my haversack and the punch keys and some food and stuff like that, a little beer. But uh, yeah, but I'll bring that in on a sled. Be nice if we had a little bit of snow. Yeah, so I'll probably cook lunch out there if everything goes according to plan, and then we eat all night and stay up, you know, pretty late. I'll stay too late now. I'm an old silver fox, but. Uh, We'll have a fire going, uh, we'll have a fire going all night, a uh, big bonfire with pellets, and we save, from our Oktoberfest we save, we, we cook some turkeys in oil and stuff, so we'll save that to light the wood, and, and usually when you get up in the morning that there's a little bit of fire going, a good coals in there, you can tweak that fire going a little bit, and then in the, what we call a brew shed, is the wood stove going and we'll also have a uh i think an old coleman stove in there and we'll uh cook some coffee in there too but i might cook, oh, I'm, I'm gonna probably get up and cook some coffee in my shelter with an alcohol stove and uh in the morning i like coffee the rest of the time i like tea but i'm a big tea drinker and my wife is too but um yeah so i just figured didn't plan on this, but I figured I'd uh, go along with this. This go hike stove I've had for years. One of my first early videos with the Stanley Cup in the snow outside here somewhere. And it uh, works very well. I actually put some very viscous stuff in there to see if it would burn. And it did, but it took a while to burn that stuff out of there. But right now it's, uh, it's working pretty good, and you can see. But uh, I'm going to continue to have my... stuff here if I can get it should be cooled down a little bit right now see this is like Pavlov's dog she hears the the plastic and says oh that's gonna be cheese 
But you know what? It's not. But here, a little. There she goes. Usually she catches it. She got something. So. That's enough. That's enough now. Mm. I'm happy with this. Expanded it a bit. I was a little concerned because there's a couple knots in there. And it uh, seems to be okay. I will be making cooks, but uh, take some time. I, I have a lot of other things to do right now. Spoon I'm always working on. We're going to have a bird spoon right now. A green one, so it has to dry out. And I made a real big spoon. The biggest one I ever made is like a it's dipping in a stew or something. And that one serving right there in the it's a big bowl on it. Put linseed oil on that. Today, maybe I'll put some uh, beeswax mineral. Mix I got some good stuff. Mm. Worked out pretty good, man. Mm. I'm happy with that. I think this is the second one I made. second or a little bit left that sweet sound doing good man thank god for another day still kicking so, take care, peace, freedom, and the rise of the sky. When you ask them all fair ride, in a teepee shelter, I serve a shelter. Take care.